is going on? Welcome on into another video. As you guys know, I try to get this information out to you so that way you can make your best decisions on what you want to play, how you want to play it, and hopefully help you guys along the way. You know I don't like to waste too much of your time. All I ask in return is that you like and subscribe to the videos. This is going to be all about Patch Notes 3.0 that just went live on all consoles. Obviously, Xbox usually lags a little bit behind because they have a little bit more of their permissions that they have to get through. Uh, verification, essentially some boxes that have to get checked. But you should see it on all consoles today. Um, and this was a big one. And uh, I'm going to make a big statement here. And I think I was going to make this into two separate videos, but I'm not about just wasting your guys' time um, or clickbaiting. So I think the debate is over, personally. In my personal opinion, and some people may think that I'm wrong, but this is my personal opinion. I don't think these games are even close anymore. Um, the only, like, ever since I started playing EA, I literally have not thought about playing 2K ever again. Like, you guys have seen most of my live streams. They have been purely EA videos, and that's just because I am having so much more fun playing EA than I have ever had playing 2K. Um, and that's just the, the brunt, honest truth of it. You have to use so much actual real-life golf logic when it comes to this game that... It, it just it has so many different elements to it, and it's something that I really appreciate. And most importantly, I've never seen this in an EA game, and I really have to commend them for it. They have been so open to the community suggestions. They have been very transparent with everybody. Like the patch notes that we're about to go through are fantastic, um, and they're making changes. Like I have it on this master's volume because I just checked with this recent patch. They have fixed the volume, finally. Um, I, it's and it's been what uh, a month it's been a month and they've already fixed some of some of the big issues that people had like they actually care to make a really good game right now and I'm not saying 2k doesn't care to make a good game because I definitely think they do um, but I just I just think this game is is far superior um, the only real reason why I would still play 2k 23 is because they have TGC um, and they have societies in which you uh, can really play and customize a full season with a lot of like multiplayer people and i think that's really big and then secondly the obviously course creation if you're really big into course creation then you will you'll not get anything obviously in this game for that so those are really the only two reasons that kind of is in my eyes are keeping 2k23 alive because graphically uh physically uh, enjoyment wise obviously the multiplayer still needs a lot of work in this game but the career mode uh, the courses everything that I've come to play and the challenges are a lot of fun like there's so much to do in this game and I'm just really enjoying it so I really personally I know some people have kind of criticized my my review of which one is better uh, simply because I was like you got to stop comparing them to each other but I personally now uh, I can honestly say that I think EA Sports is hands down the best golf game that I have ever played in my life. Um, and, and some people probably don't fully agree with that, and I respect your opinion. And my, just because I say it, it doesn't mean that it's right. Um, and it doesn't mean that you're right either. But at the same time, me personally, uh, I see myself playing a lot of this game moving forward. Probably not a lot of 2K23, but I will still be here if anyone has any tips, requests, videos. I read all the comments. I respond to them for any of the 2K23 stuff. But I just have so much fun playing EA. So I really want to um, continue with this game and continue grinding with this game and continue making videos for this game because it, it's it's just so much fun to play. All right, so let's uh, dive on into the patch notes, though. I don't want to waste too much of your time. So we're going to go through these here. And this is what I'm talking about. They made super big changes here. Obviously, they fixed the master's uh, volume setting, which I talked about and I've complained about in every single video. And I put in a ticket for, check that ticket off. I'm taking the ticket down five-star rating. Two big things that they've added here, and you can see it right here on the screen. A new low camera view for putting. So people who want to play on that tour sim, that real sim, you now can actually read the greens because you'll be able to see the elevation. And I think this is amazing. Uh, it took them le just about a month to figure out how to add this into their game. And uh, I'm sure it's going to have some bugs and glitches. So obviously, uh, tread lightly with it. But it is for them to just add that into the game within 30 days is fantastic. And I'm not going to go through all of the patch notes. I will link it down below. But I'm going to go through some of the big ones. The second one, which you guys know uh, I, I it's a big thing for me, is being able to zoom 
uh, in within 70 yards. So you're actually able to zoom in from within 70 yards so you can see where the pin is. Uh, that's going to be super big, especially in those high bunkers where you really just couldn't see where the ball was going to land and you just kind of had to guess that your marker was in the right spot. Um, so obviously you can see here a full-on putt, putt view where you can actually see some things. And then the other thing is they actually added some cup physics, which I talked about how like the putting was kind of uh, basic, but you can see here now we got a little bit better of like the lip-ins, the lip-outs occurring more frequently. Um, that's, that's really cool. Uh, because right now, that was one thing that I, I did criticize was the fact that the cup mechanics didn't really seem like natural or real. They kind of seemed very bland and basic. Um, and it also seemed very like arcadey slash uh, not real. But they seem to add that. We're going we're gonna to run through the test of that, obviously, in the live streams coming up. Um, some other big things. Fix an issue. There's a lot of fixes, a lot of uh, little minor like gameplay fixes that you guys can read about. Um, they have not added in the one round, two round, three round, four round thing, but um, I'm sure that is going to be on their next list coming forward. Obviously, the big addition was Oak Hill. You guys can now play Oak Hill, so we're starting to get some some new courses that we're going in uh, and fixing. And some of like the big challenges. Like we wanted them to eliminate the, the whole flyovers simply so that way we can get through these challenges faster. They permanently disabled it. Like how awesome is that? That was something that just a minor thing, but you know what? They care about doing that. And it's something that is really appreciated. So that way we can actually grind out these challenges much faster. So we don't have to preview these holes with these flyovers. We can just get in and out of the challenges. It's also good to note, like, drop zones are obviously been a, a big concern for a lot of people um, in previous games, and they really have put an emphasis on their drop zones and making sure that you have good options and the drop zones are realistic, and they continue to throw in these updates as well. It says, uh, we got a daily and weekly tournaments for simulation gameplay have been added for Season 2. So that's one of my things that I'm going to cover in a video coming up about what I'd like to see about this game moving forward. Uh, some daily tournaments, and, and we'll cover that later, but it's good to see them throwing out some more tournaments. Obviously, we already talked about the audio issue fixes that um, the settings. So I, I just checked. I'm on PlayStation. The settings are obviously fixed for me, so that is really good. And then we got some UI fixes. I'm not going to go through every single one of these um, simply because there, there's quite a bit of them. But it's just, you know, we got a lot of transparency here, and those are a lot of, like, the big ones um, that, that we really do have. Now, I do want to talk about something else that I think is absolutely fantastic. I don't want to exit out of here. And if you go into the store, you can see, and this is so awesome. This is, this is why this game is great. Like, if you go into the store, like, look, you now can buy a hinge swing. I wish you could, like, actually, I can't actually see. Oh, you can, you can, right here. So, like, if you want, like, that's kind of like the Dustin Johnson hinge. You can definitely see that there. We got a delay swing. That's probably, like, the Hideki swing. You can see he pauses at the top, and we have an out-to-in swing. Somebody who hits over the top. Like, new additions. These are featured new additions. Like, they're, they're just dropping a lot of content. Obviously, uh, to get most of this stuff, you have to have points, which means you actually have to pay for some of these. Unless these ones, you actually have 25,000 VC, which a lot of people have 25,000 VC. But if you want some of this stuff, obviously, it costs points. So, um, you know, they're going to have to make some money off of you some way. So I, I'm not surprised by that. But, like, look how much content that they're dropping right now. They just added mirrors into the game. Like, there's a lot of things. These are just in the featured car categories of what you got going on. You got new head covers, you got new full bags. Uh, we got 12 pages of new content, new gear. And it, it's really cool to see them just adding this stuff. And right now in the specs, we see, we're see we starting to see some repeats. So Dustin Johnson's ball spec, um, I have that one. And Daniel Kang's ball spec is now in here as well. So we're starting to see some repeat of the specs. So hopefully those who do want the um, Hideki irons do hopefully that comes back around uh, and people can purchase that so save up your money but this is what I'm talking about this game they're listening 
Uh, they care about this game, and you can definitely tell. And I, like I said, I, I'm not saying 2K23 doesn't care about their game. I definitely think they do. Um, but I just think this game, for a first iteration since 2014, 2015, they've really, and within one month, have really gotten my attention. And I'm really looking forward to where this game can really go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to be the video. Uh, these are the patch notes. Also, I answered the question that everybody wanted to know, which one is better. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Tomorrow, I will be doing a live stream. Feel free to come in, hop in. I'm also going to put out a post right now um, for anyone who is on PlayStation. This is going to be a thank you to all my followers. If you guys want to play a private match, we are gonna have we can obviously get up to 16 people. I will just go in there and throw your gamer tag on that, and I will make sure that you are added during the live stream. It will be at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, May 17th. That will be tomorrow. Uh, so I will see you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, and catch you later.